Alan Brahma Jaban versus remember the name Bleha Muhammad uh, is going to be an interesting fight at UFC Fight Night 90 on July 7, 2016. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like combat sports, MMA, and uh, much more, we do predictions, reenactments, reviews, uh, reactions, all kinds of stuff. So this is a prediction for UFC Fight Night 90 with Alan Jabon versus Blaha Mohammed. Uh, this is going to be a very fun fight where Brahma Al Jabon. Uh, Alan Javon is 13-4 uh, and four in his MMA pro career, where Blaha Muhammad is 9-0 and oh in his MMA pro career. He is making his UFC debut on short notice against Brahma Joban, and this is going to be an electric fight in the welterweight division. It is going to be fireworks, I imagine. It is going to be a fight to remember, possibly a 50K bonus for somebody in this fight. Uh, I am a fan of Alan Brahma Joban, I uh, really like the dude, he's awesome, the dude is always awesome to watch inside the octagon in the MMA world, the dude is awesome at combat sports, so he, Alan Jabron, he has got nine wins, it says, by KOTKO, one win by submission, three wins by decision. He's lost twice by KOTKO. He's never been submitted in his pro career in MMA. He's lost two times by way of decision. He is coming off of a win against Brandon O'Reilly with a TKO, which was phenomenal. He lost a crazy uh, brawl against Albert Einstein Tuminoff at UFC 192. Uh, he beat Matt Dwyer by unanimous decision. He uh, beat Richard Walsh by KO. He lost to Warley Alves in a hellacious fight by unanimous decision. Seth Bazinski, uh, he lost. He beat him in his uh, UFC debut by KO. And, uh, you know, the guy's got TKOs galore and so forth. It says submission punches. Um, so the guy gave up after being punched. But I don't know. That really should be a KO. Uh, so really, he has 10 KO, TKO victories in my mind, and no submission wins, but it all depends, you know, like how you look at it, I don't know, I didn't see that fight, so I don't know, uh, but that's what it says here, so anyways, uh, over to Blaha, uh, Bla, remember the name, Mohammed. he is 9-0, he won his last fight at Titan FC 38 against Carl, uh, with the TKO in the fourth round, he prior to that had five fights, uh, that he won by unanimous decision, and then he uh, had a TKO, unanimous decision, started to career up with a TKO, uh, you know, so it's going to be interesting, the guy, uh, he's, you know, won three fights by TKO, so he is, he, uh, over time, he can put a beating on you, and uh, hurt you, and uh, get a TKO victory, uh, you know, throughout the fight, but from what it seems is that he normally withers the storm and he wins by decision. Uh, he's won six times by decision. He's never submitted anyone. He's never lost. So he's never lost by KO, TKO, submission, or decision. He normally can uh, withstand the weather. But I believe the storm of the Barama Jaban is going to be too much for Balaha Mohammed at UFC Fight Night 90. I believe uh, Alan Jalaran is going to win this one in the first round by KO, TKO victory over Blaha Mohammed. Uh, you know, Big Doug, Jimmy, he uh, thinks it's going to go to the third round with uh, Alan Jalaran winning this one. He doesn't think that Mohammed is going to be able to pull out the victory in his UFC debut on short notice against the Brahma Bulls or Braun. Uh, the guy is a beast inside the octagon, uh, you know, I'm a fan of his, so, you know, maybe I'm a little bit biased, but, uh, you know, I'll let you know if I'm a huge fan of somebody's or not, and this guy, I feel, has championship written all over him, to so someday he will climb the ranks and get a shot as a champion, I'm hoping, and I believe I, uh, you know, it's the same with Joe Duffy, I believe he can climb the ranks and get a title shot someday as well, too, and be a champion inside the UFC, so, Hey, leave me a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. Do you think I'm right with a KO, TKO in the first round? Or do you think Big Dog Jimmy's right with a third round finish? Uh, you know, do you think that Blah Mohammed is going to win this one? Or, uh, you know, or what? You know, let us know. Subscribe if you like the video. <laughs> leave us a comment. Like the video. Share the video to support the channel. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.